All right, starting again. How to aim better. So when when you guys think about like how to aim better, you you think of just like running around and just like flicking to people. That's not how to aim. In this game, in in games like uh, Counter Strike, it's strategic based. Like the maps, the layouts, and everything are the same. You have these fixed angles that you want to practice. You want to know the the angles. You want to know where you should position yourself. You want to know where the enemy is going to be positioned. All that goes into factor into your aim before you even think about like raw adjusting your aim where you come out and someone's where they're not supposed to be and then you flick to them. So what I'll talk about first is positioning and angles and basically what you should be doing in the game. Um, so I'll start off, I'll pretend I'm a terrorist, okay? I'm a terrorist, I'm terrorist side of, of Dust2. I'm actually going to turn off this uh, sub sound because it's going to get quite anno annoying and I'm going to... I'm actually going to disable these alerts um, just because I'll upload this to YouTube and I don't want a bunch of stupid alerts coming off. So terror side on Dust2, I come to be tunnels and then I end up taking cat control. And cat control does a lot for my team because that's where you can basically start doing things like uh, you can do a cat drop, you can do an A take, you can do mid to B, you can do fakes, you can do everything from there. Once you have cat control, you can even go back and do a long take, you can go and go do a B take. And with this control on cat, like the, it's open for everything. So I'll show you how I'm, I take cat when I go around taking map control. First thing I want to do is come into B tunnels. And then even like right from the start, like every round, you practice this every single round. You do this in matchmaking, you do this in pugs, 10-man scrims, matches, everywhere you go, you will always practice this. There's always going to be a chance that an enemy is just sitting over here with an op pushed up. If your teammates aren't spotting it, if they throw smoke middle or something, they throw smoke over here. They might be at this angle just posted on you to peek. So what you want to do is you always want to come out and you want to be pre peeking him already. Okay? You don't want to just come out just like looking around like what what the fuck's going on. You want to come out and you want to be peeked on him. I actually come out and I come close like this and just show show my shoulder. The same thing I showed in the, the video I was speaking about with War Owl. You just want to show your shoulder here. You're not actually like showing your body. You're showing your shoulder. If they shoot at you, you just fly out and you kill them. Um, but also this baits out a shot from an opera who could be on cat. So first thing I do when I come down, I start spamming this a little bit. I reload. I come over here, I get close, I start peeking my body out, and then I peek out here. And if I see an enemy, you know, I kill them. Whatever. Clear this angle. You want to clear all the angles. You want to make sure that you're basically putting your crosser exactly where the enemy is going to be. And you know where they're going to be because they play the angles. Imagine you're, you're on CT side. Where are you going to play that you're going to get the kill on the terrorists? A lot of counter terrorists will sit here with a, with a, a gun and shoot you as you cross. So if you come as a terrorist and you just strafe out and you pre-fire them, you oftentimes get a free kill. Most of the times though, you wanna make sure this is smoke so you can cross and get to cat. When you get to cat though, there are so many angles here that you actually have to clear out and you have to clear out calm and collectedly, but pre-aiming and knowing the angles is gonna help you a lot more than just flicking to enemies. So what you wanna do is you always wanna know exactly where the enemy is gonna be. They're gonna be playing angles like this. They're gonna be playing angles like this. They're going to be playing angles like this, they're going to be playing angles like this, and sometimes they'll even be playing angles like this or up here, which is not too common, but it sometimes happens. So when you come around, you want to remember all those angles that you're thinking of, or all these angles I just spoke of, you want to be able to be able to know exactly where the enemies can be, you want to pre-aim at them, and then if they're somewhere where they're not supposed to be, you can flick to them. So knowing this angle, you come out and you're just already pre-aimed on it. You move your mouse up here, you peek out and you're already aimed on it. Or you can come out and pre-fire it. You clear these angles, okay, and then this also clears this angle up here. You come, you clear everything, you make sure there's no one in that corner and you make sure that there's no one like back here as well. Same thing, there's barrels before you get to A site. You want to come out and you want to peek these barrels because people hide behind the barrels. You don't want to just come up the stairs like this looking for A site because this I just run up past four different angles. I can die from barrels, I can die from goose, I can die from behind those barrels, I can die from sight. Too many angles, I didn't clear any of them. What you have to do is you have to come up and you have to clear one an angle at a time. You clear all these angles and then now you have control of it. So you want to make sure that you compartmentalize everything and you actually clear out all the angles. Now that you have that, there's more angles. Angle there, angle there, angle here, angle here, angle here. 
angle here. Like you want to just like always come out peeking these angles. And you'll notice when I do it, I come out and you strafe left and then you strafe right. So when you're doing this, you're kind of like jiggling out. You're like kind of coming out a little bit and then back. You're just like weaving in and out. And what this does is if you're a counter terrorist and you're standing over here, you're going to see the arm of the person. You're going to be like, oh, what the hell? You're going to try shooting at them. And then what happens? I'm going to log off Steam Friends, actually. Because this is quite annoying. You start shooting, and then that gives away your position. Once you, you've given away your position, now this guy can come out and peek you. The other thing is it baits out op shots. The other thing is it keeps you always like quick to move, always dodging bullets. And the neck graph in this game also means that your hitboxes get all fucked up. So if you keep moving around, counter shaping left and right, this also helps you reset your um, accuracy. Because if you're just strafing across like this, like you're just an easy target for anyone who's just posted up waiting to kill you. But if you're just like weaving in and out like this, kind of clearing out angles, you're always counter strafing left, right, left, right. And that actually puts your velocity to zero. So when you're moving, obviously your bullets are going all over the place. But if you're constantly counter strafing left and right, I'm going to put on SV show impacts one. If you're constantly doing that, SV, oh, Archon show impacts one. Archon SV show impacts one. Apparently I don't know how to spell. If I'm doing this, my bullets are always gonna go like basically dead center. Reason for this is because I'm spamming A and D. When I spam when I'm going A and then I let go and I spam D, it puts my velocity to zero. It puts me dead center. So I'm able to just come out and do this. But if I'm holding like strafe, like my bullets are going all over the place. Unless I counter strafe. So you always want to be able to know exactly where your your enemies are gonna be. You want to come across the angle pre-aimed at them. You want to be jiggling in and out because this is going to bait out shots. If the enemy is not at an angle where they're supposed to be at, for example, this is where they're supposed to be. This is this is not like this is an off angle. If you hear me saying off angle, it's because they're kind of like just standing out in the middle of nowhere. So if you come around the corner and you want to clear out the stairs, but they're at this off angle and you're doing this. You find out where they are, you can step backwards, and then you can peek them and take the challenge once you know exactly where they are. So the counter shafing, the jiggling, it gets you information, it baits out the enemy's position, and it lets you actually challenge them with a better angle, with better positioning. Because you don't want to come out like like this and then like just flick to him. You want to just come out like this. Oh, you, he's there. You back off, you get farther away from the wall, and then you take a, a different approach to it. Or you can sit back here, get your teammates to flash for you, you can bounce nades at him, or whatever you want to do. But you come out, you clear the angles, you clear the angles, you're just counter strafing, clearing the angles. You have all this, you come out, you clear the barrels, you clear goose, you clear these barrels, you clear sight, you clear this ramp, you clear this ramp bit, you come out, you clear car. Same shit over at long as well. At long, you come out, you want to clear out blue bin. You want to clear the corner next. Corner's clear, you want to make sure that no one's close behind the barrel sitting here like this. You always want to check. Uh, look out for that. Then what you want to do is you always want to put your back against the far wall. And this is the same on every map. You can do it on Inferno. If you're going up middle on Inferno, you put your back against the wall on the left and you look diagonal. You look to the right. So here you come off, you come to this back wall and you peek pit side. The reason why you do this and you want to come up and clear blue bin and clear from this back wall here. Notice how my back's against this wall. The reason for this is, if there's an enemy who's coming out from the CT corner, if they want to come out and kill me, they now need to peek all the way wide to actually kill me. If they're peeking this wide, they expose themselves to this angle where I am, this angle here where my teammate could be, another angle over here where my teammate could be. But not only that, now they're at this angle here. If they want to fall back, now they have to fall back from there to there to get away from just me. If they want to fall back from this guy, he has to fall back from there to like behind that wall. And I've got all this way, like all this distance to actually kill him before he can fall back. So he's basically, if he's coming out to kill me, he's committed to killing me. And that means that he's um, making himself vulnerable to die by my teammates. So this is what he not, doesn't want to do. Um, if he does this, it's good for me because if I have a teammate, we get the trade kill. Even if I die, it doesn't matter. We get the trade kill. My teammates take map control. It's a four on four. They have long control now and they have a better chance at winning the round. So I put myself against this back wall, and I want to clear everything. Once I clear everything, this is when my teammates throw flashes for me, and I do this jiggle peeking, beta on op shot, and then wide peek, and just see if it's clear. If it's clear, you can throw your smokes and flashes or whatever, and, and cross long. 
Um, again, when you come up, when you come up A, you put yourself against this left wall. You run up, and you clear out the carrot. You run up this left wall because if anyone wants to kill you from CT ramp or bomb site or something, if you're running up this far wall here, you can get killed by an enemy who's on the A site or CT ramp or elevator or quad box. But the thing is, your teammates cannot get the trade kill. They kill you, they fall back, they go into a defensive position behind the boxes. If you put yourself in this position here against the left wall, they have to peek out wide to kill you. They have to come out all the way this angle to here to kill you. And if your teammate's on the platform or in the pit with the not posted here, your teammate's going to either kill him before he kills you or get the trade kill at the very least. And if he gets the trade kill, again, it's very good for you because now you basically even up the kills, but you have control of long. So let's say the smoke's up, you cross long, you want to make sure everything's clear. So you clear off, off this, again, you're clearing all the angles, except the reverse of what you do from cat. So cat, you're clearing goose and sight and all this stuff. So here you want to clear um, basically someone who's going to be a cat bricks. And then you can get to this position here and just hold. So all these positions that you're, you'd play as on either side, a terrorist holding the bomb site after it's planted or a counter terrorist holding the bomb site before the terrorists actually execute and take the bomb site. Those are the spots that you want to pre-aim and come out looking exactly for. Let's see. And like you can do it at ramp, you can do it over um, above the boxes. Same shit at CT spawn. Like let's say give weapon underscore op. Let's say I have an op and I come here. You want to pre-scope. You don't want to just like fly out like un unzoomed and then do that. You want to come out here, you want to be looking exactly in this corner. And then you want to be looking at the dark boxes. And then you want to be looking at this angle. And then you want to be looking at this angle. And then you want to look for someone who's just like holding the cross from there. Like those are the ways you want to come out and peek everything. You don't want to just fly across not peeking anything at all. Because that's how you're going to die more times than not. Same shit over at B. So if you're at B, op or rifle, you can do it the same way. You post on big box, or back platform. If there's no one at the headshot box, you start moving in, you get closer. One person on the right wall is just going to sit here, holding for people on the left. Let's say, excuse me, let's say there's a guy in Humvee and he peeks out. Or let's say there's a guy close here. You have the guy on the right, walking up, creeping up, looking at the left. He can't get killed. If he gets killed from someone on the platform, that guy is exposed. So your teammate who's on the left side can come and kill him. Your teammate walks up, clears the barrels, clears the double stack, clears the other side of the double stack, clears uh, under window, clears the window itself, comes out, clears the door. Okay. Pre-aims up here, comes out and clears this, because a lot of players play up there, and it's a hard flick to get. Jump on the box, you can come clear car and closet, pull out a pistol, and destroy anyone who's in there. It's the same shit, both sides, you have to come out, you have to know exactly where the enemy's going to be playing from, pre-aim it, and that takes away 50% of the work for you. If you come out here, and then you, you let's say I'm peeking like window, and now there's a guy who's hiding back here the entire time, who peeks out, now I'm gonna have to go from here, I have to flick him down here. That's called flick shotting. That is basically the adjustment of your aim, the, the raw adjustment. You're not expecting him there. He's flying out at you. You're not pre-aimed at him. It's not a common spot for him to, act. it's a common spot, but he's, he's hiding behind a box and then peeks into you. You need to be able to react to that. Now this kind of aiming where you have to flick from up here the window all the way down to the double stack area, that's just raw adjustment, that's muscle memory maps, you go into muscle memory map, you play against bots, you go into deathmatch, this is what's going to help you flick from here to here. But this is like, if you if you know like all the angles and you peek out and you're posted or you, you peek where team, uh, CTs are going to be posted at you from, you're going to kill them. It's only if CTs are in angles where they're just hiding and then they peek out random spots after you've cleared it. So it could happen that I come out, um, clear a window, oh window's clear, come look at doors or something, and then a guy comes out the window, um, he's just hiding out here and then he peeks out after I've cleared it, then I would have to adjust by saying, I come in, I clear a window, oh he's not window, I come door, oh he's not door, oh shit he's there again. That's when I'd have to flick shot at him. But until then, you don't have to worry about it, you should just focus on figuring out the angles for all the maps. And it is all the maps that you can learn all the angles for. I know all the angles on all the stock maps. Cache, Mirage, uh, Dust2, Inferno, Nuke. Like, you have to know these angles. It's just something that you practice over time, you pick up over time. I've been playing competitively for, you know, uh, seven years now. So I've, I've learned the maps. Um,
you should be able to learn all the angles after one year of playing the game. Um, no matter what level if you're on, if you're playing 20 hours a week or something, you should still be able to pick it up in in a year. Uh, what else could I do for here? Yeah, the cat's just uh, jumping out a little bit. Is there any... The other thing with, with I guess, like, angles is just, like, I'm going to go Inferno real quick. And I'll show you exactly what I meant by kind of putting your back against one wall and peeking the other side. Because this is a very, very important um, aspect of the game. If I'm coming up middle as a terrorist, I'm putting my, my back against this left wall and I'm peeking to the right. The reason why I do this, the same thing on Dust 2, you want to make sure that if there's an enemy on, on Arch side of middle, if he wants to peek out to kill you, he's now exposed to this angle, behind this little cradle, behind the orange car, and myself, if I'm just here waiting for him. So it exposes him into a very uh, vulnerable position. I come up this way, and then I jiggle peek, and I clear out all these common angles. Left side of pillar, right side of pillar. And then here, you just want to show your shoulder a little bit and jiggle peek just to see under this to see if you can see him, his shadow. But again, when you're doing this, you're not actually showing your full body. You're only showing your arm. And don't don't be fooled. Like Just because your camera only shows you the wall doesn't mean your body's not sticking out. So here, my body's sticking out. If there's an opera who's just sitting here posted, he's going to see my arm, and he's going to take a shot. And if, he, if I do this and then unhide and he shoots, now I'm able to just fly out at him and kill him. Same thing, I have my teammate sitting here, just posted on this side. When I'm coming up this way and doing this, if an enemy peeks from arch side, my teammate's fighting him. If he kills my teammate, I can come here and just kill him and get the trade kill. So that's not a problem. And vice versa, I'll, I'll post here, I'll just sit here at this angle waiting for someone to walk out boiler. My teammate will clear this angle, then he'll clear um, this angle here, then he'll kind of jiggle peek. At this point here, you don't want to run into a crossfire. So. If an enemy is sitting over here at, at cubby side mid and another guy sitting under here, this is called a crossfire because basically the two of you create a crossfire where this guy's shooting this way and this guy is shooting this way. And anyone in this like cross section is dead. So anyone at the top and middle, dead. Because you can't come out, kill this guy, 180 this guy, and one shot him as well. Like 99% of the time, doesn't happen. So what you want to do is you want to isolate one side. You don't want to peek into basically both angles. You want to isolate, isolate one side. So you can do that by smoking. If you throw a smoke here, you disable arch side. You focus now on port side. You can come out and you strafe out wide. One person strafes out wide and one person comes out close. And this way, if someone's basically under here shooting at you, he has to come here. He has to shoot you running across and you come out and you basically just go bam. And your teammates running across shooting at the same time. So when you isolate an angle and then kind of like the throwing the smoke here is isolating porch. Or would it be isolating arch? Huh, doesn't really matter. I guess it's a philosophical question. But the same thing, every map, you come out, you clear the angles. You aim at the angle behind the truck. Also, you might have to flick up and raw adjust if someone's peeking from balcony. You peek um, this angle through the hole, behind the truck, through the porch. Um, graveyard steps, above graveyard, graveyard steps, through this crack here, and then again, hug the right wall and peek to the left. You gotta look out for mini pit, you gotta look out for um, library, you have to look out for moto, and then now you're exposing yourself here, you can get up close here and shoot uh, shoot headshot box. And the reason why you want to like hide yourself from the enemy who's over here is because you don't want to die in the back and have basically a casualty without your teammate being able to get a trade kill. Likewise, your teammate on the other side, coming out here, peeking up on top of the uh, balcony, peeking this area. Again, once you're at this position here, you don't want to just push into the site because you can run into a crossfire. There's way too many angles now, and it's at, at such a wide radius. It's like 180 degrees that you have to clear this angle. Instead of fighting everyone who's basically from this point onto this point, instead of doing that, you want to isolate. So you smoke off one side, Maybe you, you require two smokes, and then you smoke off pit side, and then you push into the site, and you just focus on everyone on the site. Alternatively, you can smoke off site side, and over here, and then you focus on everyone that's in the pit and apartments. 
So there's ways that you can actually work with your team to kind of isolate one side from the other and then take map control. But it's the same thing. You just always want to work up the same way with the angles. You want to put yourself against the far wall and peak um, the opposite angle. And you always want to isolate before you go up and challenge basically two people at 100 degree, 180 degree, I guess, radius. Wingspan, angle, vantage point. I don't know what the fuck you want to call it. Anyways.